eggplant. Hey everyone, this is Carrie. Thank you very much for watching this eggplant functional training video. This video covers the three methods of script creation, turbo capture sessions, assisted scripting, and manual scripting. Within the context of these scripting methods, image and OCR searches, as well as the common sense talk commands, will be covered. Any of these scripting methods can be used when automating either mobile or desktop systems under test, or SUTs. Regardless of which scripting method is in use, the script will be built in SenseTalk, Eggplant's easy-to-learn scripting language. The first scripting method described in this video is Turbo Capture, which is Eggplant Functional's record and playback feature. To start a Turbo Capture session, first click the Start Session button, and then click Start Turbo Capture Session in the viewer window. This starts the recording, as indicated by the green highlight around the viewer. Once the Turbo Capture session begins, use the Eggplant Viewer window to walk through the workflow manually, as shown here. Once the manual workflow is complete, click End Session. At this point, there is a Turbo Capture session but not yet a script, so the next step is to open the session and process it. Rename the Turbo Capture session something informative, as the generated script will use the same name as the session. When processing the session, refining the images and also cleaning up any unintended actions that were recorded during the session is essential. Advance through each step of the session, naming and refining images as needed. For each image, including the first one shown here, adjust the capture area, making sure the capture area is focusing on the element of interest and excludes any surrounding noise. Also give the images unique informative names. When interacting with generic UI elements such as this email field, consider instead using the capture area to specify the unique element, the label. The hotspot, which is the small red crosshairs, is the location where an action happens relative to a found image. The hotspot can be moved over to the field by holding down Command or Control on the eggplant machine's keyboard. This arrangement of image and hotspot allows for the event to happen adjacent to where the email label is found by Eggplant during the script execution. Because the image is now of the unique label instead of the generic low contrast form field, manually adjust the search type to smooth, which is the best search type to use when searching for a text element. In most cases, Eggplant will select the appropriate search type automatically. Next, indicate a max weight, so that Eggplant gives the element a little extra time to appear before the script times out and fails. The max weight is an intelligent weight, such that Eggplant will continue the execution as soon as the image or text is found, so it's generally better to be generous with the max wait times, so that the script doesn't needlessly time out if an element happens to load slowly. As seen here, some noise was recorded by the Turbo Capture session, which can happen when accidentally clicking on the UI, typing very slowly, or making mistakes in typing. Turbo Capture sessions allow skipping of unneeded steps and also allow going back to type text commands to fix mistyping, as in this example. It's also possible to refine the Turbo Capture session to allow use of OCR instead of an image search in order to identify a text element. Selecting the Use OCR checkbox results in no image being captured, and in the final script, there will be a reference to the OCR search. A preview of the OCR search is reflected in the Turbo Capture session. Including a max weight for OCR searches is generally important as well. Once the Turbo Capture session is refined, click Generate, which in addition to creating script code, also automatically captures and names all of the images needed by the script. Here's what the generated script looks like. Note how the script contains a mix of the click and type text commands. Even though the script was generated from a recording of actions, running the script a few times in order to debug it is still needed. Start basic debugging by running the script and seeing how it goes. Pay close attention to the timing of the script to make sure events aren't carried out by Eggplant before the UI is ready for them. Wait for and wait commands are common additions to Turbo Capture created scripts in order to make sure the timing is correct, and this video later discusses how to add such commands into a pre-existing script. The next part of this video focuses on assisted scripting, which heavily uses the buttons on the viewer window toolbar. The toolbar comes with a default set of widgets, but can be customized with many more by accessing Customize Toolbar under the Window menu in the viewer. 
The basic workflow behind assisted scripting is to use the eggplant functional interface to specify the image or text string that needs to be identified and then pair the appropriate command, such as a click or wait for, with that element. With each step of picking the element and choosing the command, a new line of code gets inserted into the script. To use assisted scripting, first toggle into capture mode. If a suite is not already open, create a new suite and add a script. An open suite and script are required so that the code generated by assisted scripting has a place to go. Assisted scripting can be used to start a completely new script or to add additional code into a pre-existing script. If the first step of the automated workflow is to double-click on the Chrome icon, use the capture area to specify the Chrome icon on the SUT. Remember to exclude any noise around the Chrome icon that isn't of interest. For image searches, use event-oriented widgets on the toolbar, such as tap or click, to specify the desired event. Using the double-click widget on the toolbar will cause a double-click command to ultimately appear in the script and also carries out the double-click action on the SUT. Giving the image a name, checking the search type, and providing a max weight is generally required when doing assisted scripting. While in capture mode, there is also the opportunity to add additional code that is not necessarily event-related. For example, it's possible to add a checkpoint that simply waits for the refresh button to appear by specifying an image of the refresh button and selecting wait for from the toolbar. This adds a visual checkpoint into the script that confirms the refresh button is present before continuing. Wait for is an excellent command to use, both when ensuring certain UI and text elements are present and also when addressing scripting timing problems. While in capture mode, the viewer window will also capture any text that is typed into the Eggplant Functional Machines keyboard. If the next step of the automated workflow is to type in the URL of the website under test, then Eggplant will intercept that typing and allow pairing of the typing with a keystroke, such as return, for executing the URL in the address bar. Using the insert button adds a type text command into the script and also types the text into the set. There is a drop-down menu on the capture area of the viewer that provides a second way of accessing assisted scripting actions. Choosing click from the drop-down brings up a similar panel as what was seen for double-click. As there was in the earlier Turbo Capture session, there might be a need to move the hotspot while doing assisted scripting. Hold down Command or Control on the Eggplant Machine's keyboard to move the hotspot before capturing the image. Choosing sufficiently long max weights is just as important in assisted scripting as it is in turbo capture sessions. In order to incorporate OCR searches into the script using assisted scripting, use the Find Text widget from the toolbar. Specify the string of interest and then choose the appropriate command from the drop-down. The default command is click, which is the desired command in this case. Specify a max weight as required. This OCR search is an example of using assisted scripting to perform an OCR search within the context of the wait for command. The type text widget from the toolbar can be used to send keyboard shortcuts to the SUT as well. Some of these shortcuts are available in the Enter Keystroke drop-down, but the key combination can also be typed directly into the Type Text dialog. Some toolbar widgets are available in both Capture Mode and in Live Mode. Log is an example and tells the script to log custom messages both in the Run window and in the final results. As with Turbo Capture created scripts, assisted scripting scripts also need to be debugged. Using assisted scripting against a mobile SUT is very similar, but there are some mobile-oriented widgets such as tap, double tap, and press. Tap and click are actually synonymous and can be used interchangeably across mobile and desktop SUTs. Log success is another type of log message, but it is not available via either toolbar widgets or the capture area dropdown. Any commands can always be typed directly into the eggplant script editor, as shown here. It's also possible to use assisted scripting to insert physical button presses, such as the Home button or Volume Up button, into a script. The earlier example of logged success provided some exposure to manual scripting. 
Many elements of SenseTalk are available only through manual scripting, so being familiar with manual scripting is important to writing the most powerful scripts possible. Eggplant Functional includes a number of features to make manual scripting easy. For example, the script editor includes autocomplete functionality, which allows one to quickly type different aspects of SenseTalk, including command names and image names. When doing manual scripting, lines of code will not automatically execute against the SUT as with assisted scripting, so the code must be executed separately to keep the script and the SUT in sync. The Add Image action, available in the viewer, allows capturing of new images and simultaneously referencing them into code. Often a mix of scripting approaches is used. In this example, both manual scripting and assisted scripting are leveraged. The SenseTalk browser is a component of the Eggplant UI that displays the commonly used aspects of SenseTalk. There is a button to insert code from the browser into the script. Note how already captured images, such as the settings header and settings icon images, are reused within the code. Wait is a command that adds a pause into a script. It's available both through assisted scripting in the viewer window and of course also when doing manual scripting. Wait is most often used to address timing issues where the UI of the application under test is not yet ready to be interacted with, but there is no good element for eggplant to look for to indicate readiness. Wait is generally used sparingly as it is not an intelligent wait that can adjust to actual load times. Thanks for watching this video. Check out our documentation for more information on Eggplant Functional's three scripting methods and the various commands and features shown in this video.